And more than 122 million Americans have hypertension. I spoke with a Northern Virginia man who is getting control of his blood pressure after an innovative procedure on his kidneys. Take a deep breath in. There's something special about a doctor-patient relationship. Still beating, right? When you throw in humor. Yeah, it's still going strong. After two heart attacks. That's when he gets stuck with me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At just 36, David Turhian had his first heart scare. Since then, we have been chasing my uh, blood pressure. How old do you know, my ass? 57. He has resistant hypertension, meaning his blood pressure remains high despite three or more medications. In November of last year, the FDA approved a new kidney procedure that could help. There's a little bit of a leap of faith when you're one of the first patients in any setting, right? I was all in. So why the kidneys? The main uh, crossroads for control of blood pressure lies uh, in the nerves that surround the arteries that supply the kidneys. A small catheter with radio frequency energy selectively destroys some of those overactive nerves that signal the heart to work harder. Everything seems to be working. That's good. <laughs> a month after the outpatient procedure, David and Dr. Bach are seeing a difference. Not necessarily a going off of a cliff on your uh, blood on the blood pressure, but it's more of a gradual toning down. Victoria Sanchez.